Hello dear friends, hope you all preparing really well for your examination. So this is going to be an add off for your preparation. This is Deepa from Shankaran IAS Academy from Hyderabad. So I'll be explaining you about the Ministry of Railways and that the different schemes and programs that has been implemented by Government of India. So let's start with the ministries. Ministry of Railways and different programs that has been discussed under this. So let's learn today what are all the schemes that are there under Ministry of Railways. So the first one is Avataran. Avataran is an umbrella program. You know very well that umbrella programs or the schemes are those which will be having different kinds of schemes under it. So this is an umbrella program which consists of seven missions or totally seven missions are there. Which are those seven missions such as, these are all the seven missions which we will be discussing right now. Mission 25 tone. It actually aims to increase the revenue by augmenting carrying capacity. First one is done. Second one is mission zero accident. To avoid the accidents, the reasons why the accidents were taking place and what has to be taken to safeguard the journey of the passengers has to be taken care under this mission. Mission Zero Accident. It comprises two submissions such as elimination of unmanned level crossings on broad gauge in the next three to four years. So that is the main cause of accidents where there is no attendor will be there. So such kinds of places has to be taken care and that has to be converted with the required uh, safety within three to four years is the target and equipping 100% of high density network with the train collision avoidance system. Okay, so that is about the second program or the second mission which comes under Avataran. Mission PAS that is procurement and consumption efficiency. It aims to improve the procurement and consumption practices to improve the quality of goods and services. So that is about the third mission under Avataran. Mission Raftar, it targets doubling of average speeds, doubling the average speed of freight train and increasing the average speed of the super fast mail or express trains by 25 km per hour in the next five years. So that is the aim of the mission Raftar. Fine. So that is done with the fourth. The fifth one is mission 100. Mission zero accident. This is mission 100. What does that mission 100 says? Under this mission, at least 100 side links will be commissioned in the next two years. Siding refers to low speed track. So what is siding refers? It is a low speed track section or track branch distinct from a running line. Mission beyond the bookkeeping, it will be established an accounting system where outcomes can be tracked to inputs. So the next one, which is the sixth mission under Avataran scheme is mission capacity utilization. This explains about to prepare a blueprint for making full use of the huge new capacity that will be created through two dedicated freight corridors between Delhi and Mumbai and Delhi, Kolkata. Scheduled commission by 2019. So 2019 is the date that has been targeted. Okay. The last, the seventh is Vikalp. What is this Vikalp is all about? Vikalp comes under Avataran scheme. It is one among the seven missions which is there under that particular scheme. This scheme aims to facilitate waitlisted passengers. Waitlisted passengers will be there, right? So for them to get an alternative train to reach within 
uh, 12 hours within 12 hours of time so that they should not get any problem with their journeys or to reach their destination so for the waitlisted passengers they'll provide the alternative train within 12 hours of the original train which they should have catched fine the waitlisted passengers will get confirmed accommodation in the next alternative train if opt for while booking that is very important you should book that one when you are booking your ticket fine no extra charges will be paid that is important there won't be any extra charges when you are booking for the next time make sure that you are book under vikalp fine so by the passenger to avail this scheme or any refund provided for the difference of fare that's about scheme avatar under ministry of railways so show uh, next program relating to ministry of railway is clone train service so what is that clone train service the proposed service will run on high demand routes within within a hour of scheduled trains departure to accommodate those on its waiting list same thing okay the idea is to ensure that they reach their destination around the same time they had originally envisaged the discomfort or the kind of problem passengers were facing that will be reduced under this program so that is the aim of the scheme so what is the next scheme which is coming under ministry of railways let's discuss that that is railway safety fund or rail safety fund the new rail safety fund called rashtriya rail sans sanrakshana kosh to be utilized for track improvement bridge rehabilitation work improved inspection works etc it is an non lapsable fund created by ministry of finance it is a non lapsable fund which is created by ministry of finance since the union and railway budgets will be merged for the first time it receives funds from this year budget allocation and also from the central road fund this concept you know very well so i need not explain about it that this time budget both the budgets has been merged together and it has been discussed the central road fund is collected by living cess on diesel and petrol for safety related work the rail safety fund was set up based on the recommendation of a committee very important headed by anil kakodkar anil kakodkar is the head of the committee that was formed to create the rail fund former chairman of atomic energy commission this person was the former chairman of atomic energy commission so you are here learnt three things that is the rail safety fund is a non relapsable fund and this year it is received from the central road fund central road fund is actually collected by levying the taxes on diesel and petrol and the railway fund was set up based on the committee headed by anil kakodkar so these are all the points that they in under this rail safety fund has been covered so let's see the next scheme which comes under railway ministry antyodaya express antyodaya express was announced during 2016 railway budget all the coaches are unreserved din dayal coach also been announced that provides many facilities that would make the journey of a second class train travel more comfortable so under this actually they are concentrating upon the second class train travelers and the coach the din dayal coach so that is about antodaya express operation swarna Operation Swarna is launched by Railway Ministry to improve the services in Rajdhani and Shatabdi Express train. Hope you know very well these two are the fastest expresses. So under Operation Swarna, these two will be concentrated upon 
to improvise their functional capacity. Under the project, the Indian Railways will focus attention on 10 key areas. So what are those 10 key areas? Functionality, cleanliness, linen, coach interiors, toilets, catering, staff behavior, security, entertainment, housekeeping and regular work, work feedback. So all the cleanliness matters and the entertainment matter, everything which is actually provided under these two, especially Shatabdi and as well as Rajadani Expresses will be taken into consideration and will be given more improvement under Operation Swarna scheme. Okay, this is about Operation Swarna under Ministry of Railways. Let's learn about Nivaran. Nivaran is a scheme which comes under this ministry that gives the opportunity for the grievance redressal portal. This is launched under the railway ministry. It is the first IT application to be launched on the rail cloud. That is important. This is the, for the first time they have introduced. That is called as a Nivaran. Nivaran means which is a redressal portal for the people or the passengers who are traveling. It is a platform for resolution of service related grievances of serving and former railway employees. So, sorry, this is for the employees, former railway employees, not for the passengers. Sometimes we do this. This is for the former railway employees, not for that. Okay. So, Nivaran relates to the employees grievances. Okay. The next one, initiatives by Ministry of Railways. Initiatives by Ministry of Railways. What are all those initiatives that they have taken? Sreshta. What is this Sreshta is related to? It is a new R&D organization to serve the future technology needs of the railways. Sutra. It is a special unit for the transportation research and analytics. The team will be involved in world class data analytics. Simulta simulation softwares, network optimization and decision support systems. Sampark, Samanvai and Samvad. Sampark, Samanvai and Samvad. These three are the conclave organized by the Ministry of Railways to discuss and deliberate vision for railways for New India 2022. Fine. So the conclave is aimed at breaking the boundary put up by railway organization in sharing information, sharing information through Sampark. Sampark itself, the word itself saying like the communication is built among to improve the coordination that is Samanvai. The find solution that is Samvad. See, Sharing information is a Sampark, improves coordination, Samanvai, find solution, Samvad. These are all to uh, solve the critical issues those are faced by the Indian railways. So it is encouraged all officers to give inputs and bring out the ground realities of the potential impediments to implement the new policies and reforms. Under this, they are actually coming out with the kind of ease movement schemes which helps to control or reduce the conflicts among the issues which were going on in Indian Railways. So these are all the schemes which are related to Indian Railways. So in my next video, I'll be explaining about the other ministry. Till then, you take care and please study well. Time is very precious. Make sure you, you study well. Each and every second is very important. All the very best for your examination. See you in my next video.